guys welcome back to my channel hope you're all well today I'm going to be doing a Dyson Airwrap tutorial I did put on my story if you guys would either like to see a Dyson Airwrap tutorial or a clothing haul first and all you guys voted for a Airwrap tutorial first so here we go so I'm going to start by um, telling you a little bit about the Dyson Airwrap so it came in if I show you this box here so obviously you get the the hot the actual Dyson so this is the hair drying tool and um, to blast your hair off you also it also comes with two smaller barrels so you've got these two little ones here it also comes with the two bigger barrels two smoothing combs I guess you could call them brushes I believe that one of these I'm not actually 100% sure but one of these straightens the hair so I believe it may be this one because the the teeth on these are more harder it is amazing to tame frizz let me tell you products I use on my hair I start off with using this and this is the Charles Worthington if I just show you guys let that focus so I use that as a heat protectant on my hair. So I'm just gonna go in. I have got a mirror here, so if I'm looking over here, that is why. So I just go in and I spritz, spritz that. I do have hair extensions. So it is a lot more work than it would be on natural hair but I like to make sure that I do get that heat protection all over my extensions. Obviously, it's not attached to my head, so you have to look after them really well. To go in with this Beauty Works Professional 10-in-1 Miracle Spray, I'll show you guys that as well. Let that focus. <laughs> I only use this on my ends, so I just run that through the ends of my hair like so and then what I like to do is I get a tiny little bit probably this amount I'll show you so about this amount and I just run that through my fingers and I just pop that just kind of I don't like to put it right on my root because I find that you won't get much volume and it kind of your hair will just kind of full so I like to put it on the ends of my natural hair I find that that works best for me my brushes I've got here so I've got sorry still got hair on it that's disgusting <laughs> um so this one's actually gold class but this is amazing um on my extensions obviously it's a proper extension brush so I'll just show you guys that if you girlies have hair extensions um, and then this brush is just a non brush I grabbed from Superdrug <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm going to use the one that I got from Superdrug and I just want to brush all through my ends first working my way up firstly I'm going to go in with the normal barrel here and what I'm going to do is just blow dry my roots uh, making sure um, it's about 70 to 80 percent dry um, before I go in with the barrels don't mind me I've just changed my top <laughs> a bit hot I'm just gonna go in again with the super drug brush and just give that a little brush through I then split my hair down the middle like to section half of my hair maybe a little bit more so I've got my extensions so yeah I like to do one side of my head first and then I move on to the other side of my head that's just preference that's just what I personally like to do today I'm going to go in with the smaller barrels um, see you know I've had this for such a long time I got this one for my birthday even got it for me um, and you know 
I still have to test which side's which. Crazy, but got it first time. I'll show you one section of what I do and how I like how I do it. And I'll show you further along up here and then I'll show you again on this side. I don't want to bore you guys with a whole massive long tutorial on this. But anyway, I like to grab a smaller section, probably about probably about this size like that. I like to make sure I give it a good brush through and then grab my smaller barrel on my air wrap and what I like to do, if I can show you my hair's quite long, is I turn it on and what I like to do is just let it whisk, keep twisting. Voila. So I hold it on the hot for 10 seconds and then what you do is, so to turn on you just go up one and then for the cool shot you push all the way up and hold it there and you do that for about, hmm, I'd say I do about 10 seconds on each so you always want to make sure you do that cool shot at the end because it kind of, it cools the hair down so it keeps the hold of the curl so I like to do that um, so that's one I'll show you again on this side what I do small section again just the literally the end of the hair um, and then what you want to do hold it like this and it will start to kind of like wrap round and I pull it a few times just to make sure all the strands around um, and then once it's got hold of it I also put mine on the highest and hottest setting as well because I just think that works best especially if you've got um, long thick hair like me so I kind of do that and then I wrap it up like that I hold for 10 seconds on the hot and then I cool shot it for another 10 seconds. So I'll do that now. Okay, so now I'm on to the top section. So on the top section, I like to grab a slightly a bit bigger section and just give that a little brush through. So give that a little brush through there. And then again, at the bottom, let it wrap round, curl right to the top. On this because it's at the top section I like to get as close as I can obviously don't let it sit like that try and pull it slightly away otherwise you will burn your scalp There we go. So you can see it's just got a really lovely. It kind of go obviously. I like it because it kind of makes it a little bit shorter, and that's how you know you're going to get that volume. So my natural hair is actually wavy to curly hair. Finish this top section now.
so I just wanted to show you how I do my front piece here. So this is obviously my natural, a piece of my natural hair. So what I like to do, I actually go in twice. So I go in with it now, and then at the very end, I like to just go in again with both pieces and just make sure, because I lo absolutely love the volume that go in at the end. just sits like <laughs> just sits up there like that you can use clips and things like that I do like to use clips moving on to this side now so obviously just gonna do the same and brush all of the knots out of the hair and then switch over to the other smaller barrel please excuse my untanned body at the moment I need to do a tan, but it's so hard when you have a four month old baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of you mamas can relate. A bit closer to the camera, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. that out and there you go a nice bouncy curl I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this side I will show you when I get further up here again again on the front section of my hair so I guess you could call like this like the fringe section of my natural hair is again at the end curl back hold like this because I like to have quite a lot of that volume so I like to do that and what I then do is I go in with a bigger barrel, the bigger barrel and I then do that to both just to get a little bit extra volume because that's what I love. So you can see that it's already like so much volume in there but I like to get a little bit more extra volume so I just like to grab both sections at the front of my hair together like this and then I just like to turn it on and then obviously wrap around at the top kind of you've got like a roller it does actually come with So the wrap, the air wrap actually does come with a bristle brush though, like a roller brush that you can use. But I like to have more of, I like to use this rather than this. As you can see, it's very, very wild. So now what I like to do is just start the ends and work my way up brushing on this side first because this is obviously the first side that we've done and then I like to move on to that side. So after curling my hair and brushing it I then like to go in with the Beauty Works Argan Serum and I'll show you guys. It's nearly used all up because I love this product so much. So yeah, I just like to go in with like a little bit. I don't like to use too much just because I like to keep that volume in my hair. I don't want it to make my hair like flat or anything. So I'll show you, I'll try and show you. So literally just put the tiniest, tiniest amount, literally a drop 
like probably less than a pea size amount and I just like to rub that in my fingertips and down my fingers my hands and then I just like to kind of run that through my hair Make sure you get rid of all the remaining frizz. It smells so good, this stuff. It smells so nice. It kind of smells a little bit like marzipan. If you like the smell of that, then you'll love this product. So guys, this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please click the like button, comment and subscribe and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye!